Well, hello, brothers and sisters. We are continuing our way through the Word of God, trying to keep it in its proper context from being twisted all out of nonsense. And I, I don't have videos for Leviticus and Numbers. Don't look for them because I can't think of any verses in there that we've twisted out of, out of context. But I do have one when we get to Deuteronomy. And it's one I've heard many times through all the different branches of the charismatic church. And that's, we are the head and not the tail. Here's the problem. God said that to Israel. So, so right away we have a problem because he's saying that to the old covenant. And we're not the old covenant people. Now you might say, yeah, but it's it's God's blessing. Doesn't have doesn't he have blessings for us too? Of course. And we will look at them around the end of this video. But for now, let's just go back into the text itself. This is actually taken in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 28. When Moses is, again, presenting them with this idea that there will be cursing and blessings, depending if you obey or disobey what God has asked. And we see that in chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and do all his commandments, which I commend thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Did you catch that? You obey all the commandments of the Lord. That's the prerequisite. That's the obligation. And then we get to this famous blessing. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. Now the end that we, we see in the beginning of verse 13, and the Lord, it's built off all the rest. You'll get all this and this and this if you obey all the commandments. And according to Romans and other places, none of us have. Therefore, none of us get this blessing. Even if you want to say, yeah, but it could apply to anybody. Well, nobody has able to fulfill it. Therefore, nobody gets this. Nobody gets this promise of being the head, not the tail. We need to stop using it because it's not for us. But like I said, we do have blessings, actually. We do have promises in the New Testament for us. Here's what Paul told the Corinthians. And, and pay attention to this amazing promise and blessing God has given to Paul. He says in 1 Corinthians 4, 9, For I think that God has exhibited us apostles, as last of all, what? Like men sentenced to death because we have become a spectacle to the world, to angels and to men. We are fools for Christ's sake, but you are wise in Christ. He is being sarcastic there, by the way. We are weak, but you are strong. You are held in honor, but we are in dis disrepute. To the present hour, we hunger and thirst, we are poorly dressed and buffeted and homeless, and we labor working with our own hands. When reviled, we bless. When persecuted, we endure. We, uh, when slandered, we entreat. We have become and are still like the scum of the world, the refuge of all things. That's the apostles, granted. But you understand that Paul is saying this to provoke in the Corinthians the understanding, stop looking for big things. Stop trying to be the head. We are the tail. We are the scum. We are the nothing of this world. And like Paul called everybody to follow him as he followed Christ. And Christ, our Lord, was stripped naked and put on a cross, humiliated and, and put to nothing. He was not the head of anything, but he was the tail of the world when he died on the cross. So to pick up that verse and say it's for us, is a dishonor to Christ upon the cross. And I'm not trying to exaggerate here. He was humbled and humiliated, and he said, pick up your cross now and follow me. Being disciples mean we are going to be nothing but scum to the rest of the world, but appreciated and loved by our God. Or you can be the head if you want and follow all the other ones who are trying to be heads in this world. My words might be harsh, but those are the kinds of words that Paul would also use. Brothers and sisters, let's not forget who we are following. He was the tail of the world. So we could become rich in God. Don't dishonor his sacrifice, please. With that said, brothers and sisters, I love you. 
Be blessed.